I'm Sandy, and this is Sang. We recently left sunny California to road trip down Mexico with our dog, Tommy. We don't know how far south we'll go yet. We're taking it a day at a time. Join us for the adventure. So the weather finally cooled down. It's cloudy. It's been windy all day, which is so nice because it's so hot here. It's literally a desert. Uh, the sun is super hot. Uh, so we've just been chilling, and now that the now that it's overcast, we came out a little bit. Uh, so it feels great. And there's also surfers out in the water, uh, though it's kind of flat. Um, there are definitely longboard waves but it looks like they're having fun. Oof, the water looks cold. They're wearing booties. And the water has a forest of seaweed and when you surf over a forest of seaweed, my experience is that when you pop up, the seaweed like lassos around your foot and then you tend to fall back. It either grabs your foot or it grabs your board. So you just get tangled in it. It's so weird to be tangled in seaweed when you're under the water. It looks like they're having fun out there. Um, and it's a perfect time. You wouldn't burn right now. It's really chill. This campsite is like $5 per night, supposedly, though there is no one here to bill us. And then there's a fancier camping site. Like, uh, the people who are currently there, they're just blasting techno music. <laughs> and you just hear like waves, like full on parting. It's kind of cool. Thankfully, we met a local who was nice enough to share their outhouse with us. So this is our bathroom for the week. After we settle down, Sang starts to make us dinner. We're gonna have fried plantains and casamiento for dinner. Casamiento is refried beans with rice. It's a very Latin dinner, or more like Central American. All right, so we have fried plantains, casamiento, and hot sauce. We're eating a lot of hot sauce. Now that I've been in Mexico for a couple weeks, I cannot eat something without hot sauce. We're having... Don Huicho Salsa Casera. It's like mild, but it's a nice kick. Are you? We've been here for like a day now, and everything is covered in this like red film of sand. The van is really dusty. It's hard to have the windows open because it, it gets dusty inside. It's really windy, which is nice because it's so hot, but at the same time, you just get slathered with dust. We head into town to refill on water and food but most importantly, hot sauce.
check out the salsas. After reaching the Poblado, a Poblado is a small town, we can't say no to tacos. After finishing our tacos, we discover that there's a small restaurant around the corner serving pollo con mole. Although we're kind of full, we decide to split a plate since there are no eateries around our campsite and we're just so happy to have a warm cooked meal that we don't have to clean up after. So we got a plate of chicken with mole, and that's what they're grilling now. Uh, and then once you order the food, then you eat inside of the house. That's really cute here. So we just go in here. Mm -hmm. That's rice and chicken with mole. That looks really good. And some fresh tortillas. They just bought these. And hot sauce. That mole was really good. Except I got cocky with the hot sauce. My mouth is on fire. <laughs> It's so good though. Like I used, I, I'm not a big spicy person, but being here, the spicy sauces are so good. I like all of them. And I put a whole ton on my plate. It's a cute, really cute town. They speak, uh, what do they speak? Mi mixteco? I think that's what she said. They speak mixteco here. The next morning, I take Tommy on a morning walk before the sun gets hot. I don't want to say where exactly we are since the locals around here are not happy with the growing number of tourists coming here to surf. There's a small community of expats that have been coming down here since the 60s and 70s, and they love how remote this area is, and they want to keep it that way. They love the fact that there's no running water or electricity, as this helps avoid the crowds. So during our walk, uh, Tommy runs after a hare, and in that process of chasing it down, she actually bumps her nose into a cactus. So once we head back, I remove the cactus needles from her nose 
as well as these spiky, thorny looking things. I have no idea what these are called, but they love grasping onto her fur and onto my clothing. They're really annoying and they're everywhere. Oh my God, it's this plant. These thingies, ah, they break off and they cling on to you. Ah, I hate this thing. Oh my gosh, and it's everywhere. This area has so much wildlife. The sea kelp forest is great for seals, and there are large flocks of pelicans flying around at all times. There are also numerous fishes here, so much so that they jump out of the water and land on your board while surfing. You can definitely feel the impact of climate change on this area. The residents have said that this is the coldest summer they've ever experienced, and they're not used to wearing a wetsuit at this time. We initially planned to stay here for a couple of days, but we ended up liking it so much that we stayed for almost a week and thus need to stock up on groceries again. These little markets have fresh tortillas and they're in a cooler like this. Yeah. Those are freshly made tortillas. Found in some eggs. And they come with some chicken poop on it. Oh, organic. Yeah. <laughs> So we just got back from grocery shopping. Now the plan is to put on sunscreen and go surfing because there is no one in the water. Oh yeah. The waves weren't empty for long. As soon as we got in, all the other campers did too. But we still had a lot of fun. The next morning, Sang goes surfing again, and I decide to stay in and take Tommy on a walk instead.
there's a lot of hares around here. They're like big rabbits. And Tommy can smell them from far away and she'll just bolt and go after them. They get away really fast. Oh, but it keeps Tommy entertained. This place is really nice. I didn't realize I would enjoy it this much. It is really chilly though. Um, at night it's so cold. And now the sun, the sun finally came out. It's like almost 1 p.m. There's a lot of uh, overcast in the mornings. And the water is so cold. <laughs> Yesterday, Sang and I surfed for two hours. Uh, in the cold water and there was a lot of cold breeze <laughs> We surfed twice yesterday in really cold water Sang and I are both sick <clears throat> But this place is so lovely And the wildlife here is so beautiful. There's so many seals so many crabs lobsters seagulls I saw an owl last night Thankfully, we haven't seen snakes or scorpions or tarantulas, <laughs> so it's all good. We made it back to the van and Sang is making brunch. He's making eggs with chorizo and lobster bisque. Mmm. <laughs> After eating the delicious meal and cleaning up, we pack up the van and continue to head south. See you next time! <laughs> <laughs>